How did you acquire the Carlisle and Finch trains? These are quite rare. Well, there's a friend of the family who worked for Chrysler, and uh, when he uh, retired, he knew that I was interested in trains, and he told me that his grandfather had this train that was given to him, and uh, he was going to give it to me when he finally moved, which he did. And uh, it was so uh, simple in design and build, I thought that maybe some grandfather might have built this, like a fruit juice can, a, a wood front for the boiler, a very simple construction, but uh, with further investigation then I found out that it was Carlisle and Fitch and in Cincinnati, Ohio. So that really started to bring together uh, the interest in where ultimately it should go. Why did you decide to donate this rare Carlisle and Finch layout to the museum center? Two reasons. Number one, uh, Carlisle and Fitch is a company that's still active in Cincinnati where it got its start and it was a great opportunity to have it part of the Cincinnati Museum Center where many people can appreciate it. Well, the pre-war layout uh, was, of course, had its foundation in the 1940s with the Hudson locomotive and the semi-scale cars and some of the properties, the signals and the switches. And through the years, uh, we used those in the layouts in Erie and in Louisville. Then, uh, after uh, graduation, once I started a career, uh, I had a uh, professional railroad builder do a sketch of the layout, Bob Brinkman. He was a past president of National Model Railroad Association. So based from that sketch, and it really is on the back of a napkin, uh, I made a scaled layout and it kind of fit in my basement, which wasn't that large to start with. But it was um, about 21 foot long, so I had seven foot sections and three and a half foot wide. So it could come in through the basement door. And as we found out, it could go back out through the basement door. <laughs> so, uh, Again, uh, it's a terrific opportunity and having just seen the reconstruction of the layout is really impressive how they put that together and, and in some cases much better from the wiring standpoint and the control standpoint. Well, we, have, we have a very talented staff. Right, right. Never made the jump to sectionalized track and I think by that time Lionel got a good foothold and really began to market their trains and uh, be able to put together uh, a layout very quickly by just pushing the track together. Whereas the Carlisle and Fitch track, it was two inch gauge and it didn't share any uh, uh, standard size with any other trains. So uh, it kind of just ran its course.